Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the birthday of Mary. You may have noticed in the church that we only celebrate the birthdays of, I think, three people. The, of course, Christmas, the birth of Christ, the birth of Mary, and the birth of John the Baptist. You know, if we think in our own lives, uh, how happy and excited are we to celebrate birthdays, right? Um, for the sisters, they love it, right? They love it. Everyone, they put their, everything they got into it. For many of us, as we get older, we think, uh, I'd rather not. And so maybe when we're younger, we celebrate, but then as we get older, we tend to kind of to want to forget about it. People maybe have to throw us a surprise party because we don't want anything to do with it. Uh, all of these things. But in, in the church, why only the three? Why not more birthdays? Why don't we celebrate more in the liturgical calendar? There's a good reason. The reason is because um, we are, when we are born into the world, we are born with original sin, right? We're born in separation from God. We're born without sanctifying grace inside of us. And, uh, and that's, that's a real problem, right? It's a real, it's a real loss that goes all the way back to Adam and Eve. And so for Mary and for John the Baptist in particular, why them? Why are they so special? Because when they were born, they were born with grace. They were born full of grace. For Our Lady, hail full of grace, the angel would say later, right? But we believe even from her conception that she was immaculately conceived, that she did not even for a moment have the stain of sin, of original sin on her soul, but she, her whole life long, even in the womb, was uh, in a state of grace. And in a similar way, though not exact, for John the Baptist, when Our Lady went to visit him, we, there is a tradition in the church that John the Baptist was purified at that point. As he leapt in Elizabeth's womb, he was leaping as he too was filled with grace. So for us, um, maybe our birthdays we can celebrate and that's great. Our baptism day we should really celebrate because that's the day that changed everything. That's the, the day that opened up our lives to the possibility of eternal life. Um, because of the grace that we were given in baptism, original sin removed and our relationship with God restored. But also, as we think about the birth of Mary, we should think about how essential grace is in our lives, how grateful we are to God for his presence, and what are the things that we do in our lives that call down grace from heaven, right? I'm thinking mainly of our prayers each and every day, our acts of charity, our uh, noticing the presence of God wherever we are at. And so today we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. We remember her birth, her birth day. It's a day that reminds us of the power of grace, of the presence of God in her life and also in our lives as well. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 